good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and depending on where you're going to be seeing this video it's about your boy cost reps corner like i always tell you guys it's my corner it's your corner and it's a corner i don't wanna fall in love some persons will always tell me you have started tackling pastors and you feel is the best sorry i'm only giving what i feel i should share to my family and i'm just being open with my findings this is another pastor who have done something and said something that is right. Like I said, I don't like mentioning their names so that it's not as if I intrude or I talked about a pastor. I just talk about pastors in general, okay? This is a pastor who went to a podcast and who was asked a question. I tell you, what this pastor said was, is going to shock you. Not be joke. It's not joke. What this man said for me was the answer to the question. What he said was top notch. What he said was the best you can ever hear from any pastor. And I said, no, I have to share it. Let me tell you, if you marry a woman who you know is, is, how do I put it? Is too expensive. You are the one that is killing yourself. Yes. You know how much you earn and you know how much you can spend on her. It's good you tell her when you start. Like this man said something. If I marry a woman and I told her, for example, I earn 500,000 naira a month. And yet this, that same woman comes to ask me something worth 800,000. It means the woman is not a wife, but a knife. Do you understand it? There's a, there's a difference between a wife and a knife. That was what this man was trying to explain. Let me not talk much. Let me just allow us to go and watch it and hear what he said. Anyways, I want to thank us for always being here. For those of us who haven't subscribed, please, I beg you. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share so I can move this ministry to the family. So come away next time till you see me on screen, guys. I leave all of us with this wonderful video made by a pastor where he advised men to be very, very careful about who they marry. Let's go and watch this video. Very short one. And let's get to get the point the pastor was trying to make. I let you know as my woman, that look, I earn 500 every month. This is, what I, this is my paycheck. This is my account number. This is my PIN number. If you are asking for something of 800,000, you are not a wife, you are a knife. Mm. Because you already know what I can afford. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't tell you, and you are assuming, because women and children always assume that their man and their parents are richer than they are. Mm. Children will think that my father is powerful. My father is because they are children. They are looking from that perspective. Mm -hmm. A woman will believe that this man must have something somewhere. Mm. But when you open everything, this is my account number, this is my pay slip, oh, then you will now know that, oh, she will take you the way. Because many times people think women are after money. Women are not after money. They are after security and honesty. <laughs> when you tell a real woman, this is what I have, they will help you manage it well. Mm. They will stay within it, pray for you to grow. But the one that is not a wife, We'll be asking for bone straight, even though our own life is not straight. Mm. She'll be asking for bag and shoot to match. Our own destiny is not matching her bank account. Mm. Waiting, Papa and Mama, no fee give her. I expect you to come give her. Mm. I keep wondering. You mm. went to school, I went to school. You graduated, I graduated. You are working, I'm working. Seven years after graduation, you are meeting me. You want me to marry, you are asking me, do you have a car? Do you have a house? You, why don't you have a car? Now? She all of us done the salary for seven years. <laughs> what did you do with your own money that I will now be the one to come and carry all the responsibilities of your life? Because a lot of things, you know, culturally, a lot of things are not right. Because in this world right now, a lot of men are groaning under the load of financial this, take care of wife, take care of children, take care of family of wife, family. They are dying. Many of them have erectile dysfunction. Men can do, they are under stress. And there's some other women too, they are carrying load. The men are just sitting down there, useless. Six packs, he doesn't have six figures. All he has is muscular <laughs> prosperity. <laughs> Nothing to show. So there's so much trouble out there. So by the time they now relocate with all this jackpot in our while I could start. Hmm. Because many men in this part of the world have I, their identity is tied to their ability to provide. Hmm. So once they are not able to provide, they believe they don't take man. So hmm. those were just the, the things I was trying to say that look, as you are growing through life, make sure that you have clear understanding because. Once there is no money, there is no romance without finance. Interesting. You need money to fund relationships. Let you know, as my woman, that look, I earn 500 every month. This is, what I, this is my paycheck. This is my account number. This is my PIN number. If you are asking for something of 800,000, you are not a wife, you are a knife. Hmm. Because you already know what I can afford. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't tell you, and you are assuming, because women and children always assume that their man and their parents are richer than they are. 
Mm. Children mm. will think that my father is powerful. My father is because they are children. They are looking from that perspective. Mm -hmm. A woman will believe that this man he must have something somewhere. Mm. But when you open everything, this is my account number, this is my pay slip, oh, then you will now know that, oh, she will take you the way. Because many times people think women are after money. Women are not after money. They are after security and honesty. So when you tell a real woman, this is what I have, they will help you manage it well. Mm. They will stay within it, pray for you to grow. But the one that is not a wife, We'll be asking for bone straight, even though our own life is not straight. Mm. She'll be asking for bag and shoot to match. Our own destiny is not matching her bank account. Mm. Waiting in Papa and Mama, no fee give her. I expect you to come and give her. Mm. I keep wondering. You mm. went to school, I went to school. You graduated, I graduated. You are working, I'm working. Seven years after graduation, you are meeting me. You want me to marry, you are asking me, do you have a car? Do you have a house? You, why don't you have a car? And she all of us done the salary for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do with your own money that I will now be the one to come and carry all the responsibilities of your life? Because a lot of things, you know, culturally, a lot of things are not right. Because in this world right now, a lot of men are groaning under the load of financial this, take care of wife, take care of children, take care of family of wife, family. They are dying. Many of them have erectile dysfunction. Men can they are under stress. And there's some other women too, they are carrying load. The men are just sitting down there, useless. Six packs, he doesn't have six figure. All he has is muscular <laughs> prosperity. Hey. Nothing to show. So there's so much trouble out there. So by the time they now relocate with all this jackpot in our Allah good start. Hmm. Because many men in this part of the world have their identity is tied to their ability to provide. Mm. So once they are not able to provide, they believe they don't take man. So mm. those are just the, the things I was trying to say that look, as you are growing through life, make sure that you have clear understanding because once there is no money, there is no romance without finance. Interesting. You need money to fund relationships. Yeah.